One of the benefits of uh, building to Energy Star is an upgraded insulation and air sealing package. What we want to do is really beef up the R value or the insulation level in the walls. And it's probably the biggest feature of the homes that are being built here at, at Glassbury or Hunterbrook. Mike from Foam Co. is going to be applying uh, isonine spray foam. And Mike, tell us a little bit about the foam. It's a half pound plural component spray foam insulation. It uh, air seals, vapor barrier, all in one. Gives good R value, air sealing factor, and it really just stops the heat from leaving the house. As you can see, the process uh, also involves uh, shaving off the foam even with the studs after it's applied. Uh, you, can, you can see very minimal you know, pockets and voids in the material once it's shaved off. It's full coverage, you're getting a full, full five and a half inches of insulation in there. Uh, the wall is nice and tight, it's sealed. All the bottom plates are caulked. The rim around the perimeter on top of the wall, which is usually above the ceiling, is, is foamed and sealed as well. Makes for a very nice, tight insulation package in the home. Another important feature of an Energy Star home is that they have to comply with a thermal bypass checklist. The thermal bypass checklist ensures that areas between conditioned and unconditioned spaces are completely sealed from one another. On the other side of this wall is actually the garage, and this area here would represent where the ceiling line is in the garage. You can see where the builder took great care to cut blocking, caulked it in place to make sure that there's a nice tight seal between that cold, unconditioned garage ceiling cavity and the house. This is a surround for a fireplace. There's a little bump out in the wall, and you can see the framing here. They took extra care to actually seal up and caulk all the gaps in the framing. They, they, areas like this are really notorious for air leaks, and the fact that they're caulked and sealed means you're really going to have a nice tight construction around the fireplace. You're not going to be losing all that warm air out from behind the fireplace surround. So you have a number of 2x6s sistered together, and the gaps between the 2x6s would actually be you know, quite leaky. Um, they've taken the time to actually caulk them, in addition, the corner detail, the way it's framed, leaves a nice pocket where the spray foam insulator can get in there and actually fill that entire cavity uh, with foam so they have an insulated corner. Uh, it's called the California corner. It's a framing detail that uh, more and more builders are starting to use and virtually every home here has it uh, framed that way. Uh, the guys are also going to come in and do some air sealing around the windows, which is typically done with rope caulk or, or uh, compressed fiberglass, which really doesn't make a good tight seal. They're actually going to come in with a foam gun and caulk and actually do the windows as well. Another great energy efficient feature of these homes uh, involves a decision that was made before the homes was even built, and that was to uh, actually insulate underneath the roof deck. And by insulating underneath the roof deck, it allows the builder to locate all of the air distribution ductwork for the heating and air conditioning systems with inside the, uh, the insulated envelope of the home. That way it minimizes any losses and any temperature extremes that the heating and cooling equipment uh, uh, see during the course of the year. As you can see, there's about eight or ten inches of insulation here in, in the roof rafters throughout the home and the ductwork is clearly below that and uh, makes for a very nice tight construction and, and a nice efficient air distribution system. All of the homes here at Glassbury Hunter Brook use Anderson windows. Uh, these are Energy Star rated windows. They are double glazed, gas filled with argon, and low E. And basically what that means is that they have uh, an insulating gas in between the two panes of glass that minimize the heat loss in the wintertime. They have a reflective coating that, that reflects the heat out in the summertime. Uh, the doors as well also have the same ratings on them. It's a very good window and door package that they have here. All of the homes in this community have an Energy Star appliance and lighting package. Uh, fixtures like these light fixtures uh, are Energy Star rated. Not only the housing itself is airtight to, to minimize the amount of air that escapes up into the unconditioned spaces of the home, but they also have a four pin connector that can only plug in a compact fluorescent lamp to. These lamps use a fraction of the amount of electricity as a conventional light bulb. This is a Minneapolis blower door. Uh, the device is used to measure the air infiltration rate or the air leakage in the completed home. Uh, we like to have the homes as completed as possible, all the millwork, trim, paint on. Uh, what we do is we take the pressure of the house down to a certain level and we simply measure the airflow in the house. Based on that airflow, we're able to determine how many air changes per hour the house has based on its volume. Uh, we're looking for a number that, that would get us less than five air changes per hour. Um, being that the insulation and caulking and air sealing has been done in these homes, we should be in very good shape.
We're at minus 50 pascals, and the total airflow in the house is a little over 1,000 cubic feet per minute, 1,066 cubic feet per minute. Okay, what we'll do is we'll calculate this, the air exchange rate based on the volume of the house, and I already know from other homes that I've tested here, this is gonna to translate to about three and a half air changes per hour, right where we wanna be. For quality assurance purposes, uh, what I like to do when we test these homes in conjunction with the blower door is an infrared uh, test of the house. This ensures that all the areas have been insulated properly and we haven't missed any major air leaks or bypasses in the home. The infrared camera will tell us uh, what's going on with the surface temperature of the wall. If we see a cold spot or a, or a warm spot on a, on a hot day, that would indicate that there was uh, some insulation missed. So we typically do this on every home and that ensures that the completed home is a, is a quality, tight, well-insulated home.